Hello everyone, I hope each one of you is doing fine and great and staying at home as usual. Um, today we will discuss the important themes in the play and if you're wondering where can we find this file, you can find it under the title Lecture for Converted PDF and it is already uh, posted in our Telegram channel and also in our Google Classroom. So starting from the beginning with the themes, we will start with rhetoric and conspiracy. And then we will move on to politics, morality, faith, uh, leadership qualities, and then ambition, and then finally death. So today let's start with rhetoric and conspiracy. You might probably uh, you might probably wonder what is the meaning of rhetoric. So uh, if you do remember that I mentioned this word and when I was you know explaining the plot summary. So rhetoric, what I mean by that is the use of language in a way to persuade others. For example, um, if you want to persuade someone or convince someone to do something, you use your uh, art of speaking. What I mean by art of speaking is that you use you use or um, pick the particular words in order to convince the one in front of you to do that or let's say it's kind of like a rhetoric or skills or tricks let's say that some people use sometimes to convince other to do something and in the play we have Cassius here if you do remember he, he's the one who is having these uh, rhetoric or skills so he's the one let's say he's the prime mover or the one who wanted to recruit the conspirators or let's say um, gather them together in order to assassinate caesar if you do remember when i was uh, talking about the plot summary so he first tried to persuade um tried to persuade Brutus at the beginning because he believed that Brutus is well respected by people and if he joined the conspirators then they will not feel afraid of people and especially people's reaction against them if they just uh, killed Caesar in front of all people. And Brutus also knew that Cassius has kind of like a planning to do something against his principles because Brutus himself is a very respectful person, is very an honorable man and um and uh that's why we can say that cassius used a persuasive tricks to convince the brutus to join the conspiracy and kill caesar so one of the things that he used at the beginning he tried to show himself as a mirror for brutus he was if you do remember um or if you watch the videos that i posted there was a conversation between cassius and brutus and he's telling him brutus don't you see yourself you're such an honorable man and everybody respects you but if you do not see yourself very well i can be your mirror i can show you yourself i'm your mirror mirror this is one of the things that cassius used to persuade a prudus and to make him think that he is a true um honorable man not only that he also tried to talk to him and tell him that you know he rescued caesar once when he were swimming in the river if you do remember when i told you that cassius started to use uh, a persuasive stories in order to convince the Brutus that Caesar is not a king or not a godlike figure, rather he's a normal human being. And one day he sunk in a river and he almost sunk and Cassius himself saved him. And another day, another day Caesar had the falling sickness because he was very sick and this is uh, considered to be weaknesses if, if if it is compared to any Roman history leader at that time. And also we can see that uh, if you do remember that one of the ways, also persuasive ways that um, Cassius used to make a Brutus convinced to stand against Caesar is that he started, uh, you know, draw a comparison between the name of Caesar and the name of Brutus. And he said that the name of Caesar and Brutus, both of them were the same, both of them look the same. Why Caesar should be a king and you're not, uh, and we are not doing anything concerning this topic. And Brutus also 
start started to think and tell him give me some time to think which means that Cassius words were very powerful that started to affect Brutus himself and move him as Cassius he said that he was very sure that he already moved some of the noblest minded Romans which means he could have moved even those the noblemen or even those the good people in the world can be deceived by um, this way of you know using persuasive language or the art of speaking of persuasion if we can see also that the whole conspiracy of killing caesar relies on persuasion how can we make sure of that is the conspirators themselves also they were very confident of themselves that they can you know uh, persuade others to join the conspiracy and Decius one of the conspirators was very sure that he can persuade Caesar to come 